so uh, we have finally arrived to the uh, valedictory session and uh, uh, before we uh, start our valedictory session i would like to hear from our participants few views or feedbacks that they want to share and uh, if possible kindly open your cameras so that we can see you uh, let us uh, uh, start the uh, feedback session first so kindly uh, give us our uh, your feedbacks or whatever you felt about the workshop about the fdp and what are your views what could be that could be bad or that could be good so whatever it may be so kindly uh, share with us Uh, please, anyone uh, can start. Sir, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Uh, sorry, sir, I don't have my camera, so I cannot own it. No problem. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Uh, this is Pratipa uh, from the Paras Institute of Technology and University of Chennai. Uh, like uh, I was inter uh, actually interested in uh, artificial intelligence and all the healthcare issues. So I have uh, chosen up this FTP and as per my requirement, uh, everything was fine for me. I got uh, so much, so many information about the basic behind the brain waves, uh, the eye, uh, uh, ear, all, all the concepts were dealt in detail. I was very happy about it. Uh, rather than getting into the detailed thing, the very basic information was very clearly got, which I should go read back and so uh, get the things, which was uh, given me uh, in detail. And all the uh, hands-on sessions were very interesting and uh, very detailed. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I have attended few of the ATLs, uh, FDPs. Uh, normally, we have a test at the end of the things or... Uh, end of the session or something, which uh, we would normally uh, uh, have to go through, go back and take up a long time for doing it. But uh, having the test at the end of every day was uh, very, very, very useful for us. And also the test was very interesting, really very interesting. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you for the opportunity given to me. Uh, and thank you for the whole team. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you for your inspiring words. Uh, so, any other participants, please share your views. Hello, good evening to all. Myself, Dr. Abhishek Dadij from Delhi Institute of Pharmaceutical Science. So, uh, I joined this program as uh, I want to explore many more things from management perspective. So, uh, yes, of course, the basics concepts are more clear. And uh, now I would like to more focus on the management perspective. So in the next time, program should be more focused towards the management applications and what are the uh, certain scope of management in the AI in healthcare. And I must congratulate JP, sir, and the whole organizing team for a wonderful uh, program. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your words. So any other participants? Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm Dr. Piali Shom. I'm not from the engineering background. I'm from the medical background. and uh, But I enjoyed a lot uh, throughout the sessions. Uh, but yeah, I uh, couldn't understand some specific, you know, code engineering part and uh, MATLAB is one of them. So, uh, but I tried and uh, it was a, a good learning sessions and I, ha I have enjoyed a lot. And uh, definitely uh, in future, I will uh, try to again join uh, for of these uh, programs. Thank you, sir. And thank you, JP, sir, also, because uh, you are, uh, you know, uh, 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 organizing this program very well. I'm really, I, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. So, uh, any more participants? Um, we had a uh, an eraser. Yes, Deep Sankar, sir. Hello. 
yes please hello am i audible yes yes uh good evening everybody first foremost i thank uh, guwahati university institute of science and technology for organizing this uh, important program on artificial intelligence in healthcare as we know due to covid we have already entered the arena of industry 4.0 Industry 4.0 basically consists of certain technologies like IoT, artificial intelligence, blockchain, cyber security, and many other important technologies. So at this juncture, it was very important to learn something about artificial intelligence, and especially the application of artificial intelligence in healthcare. So I really appreciate the step taken by the management of the Guwahati University. and the team work especially coordinated by uh, dr jyoti prasad medhi for this uh, wonderful uh, program in which uh, we have not only learned the technical aspects of artificial intelligence applications in healthcare but at the same time like uh, in future what can be the uh, other uh, applications we have uh, learned little bit about that and we can do further research on that so thank you very much for organizing such a wonderful program it was really a grand success thank you thank you sir thank you for your words uh, so any uh, any more participants would like to share their views any other participants okay uh, i would like to uh, ask our uh, director sir uh, to uh, give his speech uh, for the valedictory session good afternoon to everyone Professor Kandapa Kumar Sharma, Dr. Jyoti Prasad Medhi, the organizers, and my dear participants. Actually, uh, this webinar was started with the inauguration session, where Dr. Soudhuri from BBCI, Bibaro Cancer Institute, had uh, he had uh, given a talk on. medical radi radiology and uh, the application of ai into uh, into medical sciences as a whole but then with a special reference to he talked about medical radiology i attended that uh, <coughs> inauguration session but uh, thereafter i could not attend the technical sessions but uh, i have come to know that uh, in the last 5 years basically you know in each of the technical session if i want to highlight machine learning and ai was hands on e ecg was hands on eeg was hands on cat then the tinel image was also hands on so i would have i would have happy to attend all the sessions but could not uh, could not give time actually but uh, as far as the feedback of the participants are concerned i i am sure it was a very very useful and uh, was uh, really good webinar from 24 states 192 participants as i have been informed have joined this webinar and in the uh, and this is a very, very you know nascent state the application of ai in uh, healthcare uh, healthcare field but although although it is a new field but it is going to revolutionize medical science and at the end of the session uh, today you know i could uh, listen one or two sentences which was delivered by professor uh, dr ishankur shakya on human values and humanities he is expert in that although he is from physics and uh, 
I heard him, uh, you know, asking participants for any questions. There was no question. Means participants were thorough about the human values. So when we talk about uh, development of technology, it should always be, you know, uh, it should always be connected to human values. So I'm sure this would have been, this was a very good webinar. You know, in uh, in uh, 19, 1995 or 96, 95 or 96, I attended a seminar in uh, Ludhiana, international seminar on immunology. In that seminar, I was talking to an American scientist, and when I wanted to know about his uh, his research work, he said, "You go to my website." I said, "What is that?" <laughs> that was in 95 or 96. I was not knowing about website because those kind of things are not there available in Assam. And then, uh, after a few, I think one or two years after that, I attended the first, uh, you know, uh, training uh, email. How to open an email account and then how to, you know, send emails. And then, then we can see the techno revolution during the last, you know, maybe nearly 20 years. And uh, medical science is also a new thing has come up, you know. Uh, in 2006, I was in, in Apollo Hospital, Chennai, for, for, uh, for medical treatment of my father-in-law. The person, I mean the doctor who was uh, looking after my father-in-law, he said for three or for four days I will not be there because I am going to USA to attend the training. And that was in 2006. Then he went off to uh, US and uh, next day evening when I was looking at the TV sitting in Chennai, I saw that a group of uh, doctors were given training in US in some lab and that training was on robotics, robotics surgery. And this fellow was there, this doctor from Chennai, uh, Apollo Hospital, he was there. So in 2006, Robotics was applied in US for surgery. So things are going to come up even in India. So this is the right time that AI has been taken into consideration as a webinar in connection to uh, healthcare, healthcare field. And this is really a demanding, you know, subject. And somebody from Delhi, you know, Institute of Pharmaceutical Science has told that he wanted another another you know webinar or seminar on application of ai in hospital management or pharmaceutical management and i remember on the first day dr soudhury has also indicated about application of ai in medical administration if you remember jyoti so yes, i request since there is a demand from the participants would in near future please arrange another, you know, webinar on application of AI in hospital or as as a whole administration, if possible. I don't know. Okay. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. So we are feeling uh, really happy that the particip participants are, you know, uh, thanking Guwahati University. Especially the thanks goes to EC department totally because they have been. They have been engaged in uh, organizing this kind of webinar for last two years, and uh, which are which which are actually needed at this moment because this is the moment that we cannot move out of our place. So I hope some more webinars will be organized by this department since these are very useful webinars. With these few words. I thank all the participants for joining this webinar and also thankful to Jyoti for giving me an opportunity to speak a few words. Thank you.
thank you sir thank you for your words um, so i'd like to uh, <coughs> call our hod sir honorable guma sharma sir uh, to speak a few words <coughs> thank you uh, good afternoon to you all uh, respected director uh, <coughs> uh, director sir uh, and dr musaikia dr jyoti prakash and all the participants so i i have uh, closely uh, followed the proceedings of the five day five day program and i i found all the all the sessions to be uh, full of uh, know how and new new things so i think uh, these new things were uh, were part of the take away for the for the participants and now since for us our teachers a uh, learning is a uh continuous process we we are we are uh, continuous learners therefore these sort of short duration programs uh give us the scope uh, to to refresh our know how uh to uh gather or to collect new new content and then uh, share our know how uh, and have uh, or take part in the deliberations with the with the uh resource persons from our department side we have we have been continuously trying uh, to hold such uh, programs with the with the purpose that our uh, teachers that know how part is continuously refreshed therefore uh, since i i have gone through the gone through the feedback of all the all the participants uh, I, i i think their feedback is quite uh, bright quite uh, uh, they have spoken nice things about the uh, about the program that way i i, I think our uh, program was successful uh, i strongly uh, uh, believe that if the if the participants go back home and start to work in these domains or if they take up a single domain that was touched during the five day uh, five day program our uh, program's success will be uh, resonated further I would like to thank especially to Dr. Saikya, who who is quite uh, creative uh, 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 while while delivering his uh, lectures. He he has he has brought in two very diverse domains uh, that uh, physical that that consciousness, minds consciousness, and uh, and uh, uh, and the cognitive behavior, and it's linked with the with the spiritual domain. So these things. things are very very uh, relevant all uh, are facing continuously rising stress uh, so such sort of uh, studies uh, connecting our spiritual world connecting our value based world and the uh, and the uh, and, uh, and the capability of the brain uh, has uh, become more and more uh, uh, relevant so this uh, this sort of short duration program permits us to uh, come across such uh, such uh, cross domain know how uh, so i i further shall refer the first talk uh, delivered by dr sodri that was to also very uh, revolutionary in the sense that and that how the ai tools are used for cancer research or can be used for cancer research that was uh, very nicely uh, presented so uh, i i i think with these all these contents all the all the participants must uh, ha, ha, uh, must have been uh, uh, benefited uh, so they will one more time uh, uh, come and join our programs that we plan to hold later on uh, Uh, and uh, they will all uh, cherish the uh, cherish the memories of joining the, the uh, in this particular program and share uh, um, know how with their friends back home so with these few words i i thank you all uh, and thank uh, uh, jyoti prakash uh, for making the best uh, uh, best of uh provisions to make the five day program a uh, success
Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you Thank for you. your words. Uh, so uh, I would like to um, ask uh, Isangu sir also to say a few words. Isangu sir, I do. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't think that I should again bother the participants. They are already fed up. <laughs> so there is no point in stretching it further. Uh, no, 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 no. Please, sir. <laughs> nice to see your face. Just, just After a long few time. words. Huh? Few words. I'm, yeah. I'm there. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, there yeah, yeah. always. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, okay. Yeah, in this, in this mode again. So, yeah, good to see you, sir. Yeah, it's uh, indeed uh, um, really you know, wonderful and very, very. Uh, relevant topic i would say the whole theme is very very important and uh, yes i don't know uh, i have not been able to uh, sit in other sessions uh, due to my preoccupations but yes definitely i think uh, there has been few dedicated sessions on statistics part because uh, any modeling you do in the name of uh, artificial intelligence these days which is very very the buzzword the, but, the, but the basic is statistics. So uh, that is the core area probably we should focus more on. And uh, that is where I, I would like to uh, contribute if required in, in future uh, episodes. In last two, this as well as the last one, uh, I have been told to <laughs> touch upon some other areas. Those are though not directly related to the core area I, I work on, but uh, though not exactly what Director Sir has said, today, sir, I didn't talk about human values. So, yeah, it was related to social science and brain science together. But yes, uh, the core data science uh, is somewhere probably we can think of at least maybe a more focused group of participants which are into uh image processing and data analysis and who are into uh, a, a level up in, in in using these models ml models machine learning models yes that will be i think we can we can have some project based implementations as well if we have some real data sets there are many data sets available in public domain of this uh, uh the, 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 the the pandemic the covid related data sets in fact people are in, in Guwahati University also, we have been able to get some data from BBCI. So it's, it's possible to, to apply the simple uh, random forest kind of or any regression models all of you have come across. Just go to a uh, the, the COVID testing center, get hold of data if allowed. Uh, as per Supreme Court's verdict, the data needs to be shared with academic uh, institutions at least you can get hold of this data and uh, you can do you can play with the data first and you can you can come up with ideas and from Guwahati University side yes we have a team so we can or we can we can be part of it in your activities in any research activities so far as the data analysis and applying these ml models into ai into getting something out of it in terms of ai we are there yeah so with that i end and uh, wish you all the best thank you so much Thank you, sir. Thank you for your words. So uh, with that, uh, we come to the end of our uh, five-day program on artificial intelligence in healthcare. So I would like to uh, go for the photo of thanks. And there are a few participants also who have uh, given their views and feedbacks in the chat box. So thank you, everyone, uh, for your views. So uh, first of all, uh, to start with, I would like to uh, thank AICT Atal Academy for choosing our uh, proposal and allowing us to uh, go ahead with this workshop and uh, giving us all the support that we required. And uh, then I would like to thank our uh, director, sir, uh, for his support uh, and uh, with constant support of our HOD, sir, uh, uh, without which, uh, without whom we could not, uh, couldn't be able to uh, uh, fulfill all our uh, goals 
and uh, with their encouragement only we are able to full we are able to continue our uh, work and i hope all the participants have uh, liked whatever we have presented or tried to do with this uh, workshop and then i would like to thank our team and especially uh, hirak 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 uh, for our for all the help uh, that he has given and he has uh, uh, with me all the time starting from the ferry uh, first day when we have started the work till late nights also we will be doing work, and he is continuously working with me and i would like to thank him uh, and thank you will not be enough uh, for his help and uh, i would like to thank all the all the team members of our uh, fdp uh, who have uh, made it possible and at last i would like to thank our guwahati university uh, for allowing us uh, for uh, doing such a workshop and thanks to all the participants for joining us and for giving their views and suggestions also uh, which we were uh, trying to collect all the time and thank you for being with us and thank you thank you to once and all thank you uh, so with that i would like to conclude and uh, participants uh, kindly uh, as per the aict auto requirement uh, just go for the AICT feedback, which is given, which is to be given in Atoll portal, and uh, that feedback will be required for your uh, certificate. We will be providing with the uh, session marks and session attendances, but the certificate for certificate, the feedback is essential. And along with that, from our side, we will be uh, asking for a feedback in classroom. That will totally uh, for uh, from our side only. So kindly fill that feedback that we will be providing after some time. So thank you all. Thank you for joining with us. To meet you again. So, uh, so I wish we will see you uh, again in near future. Thank you all. Yeah. Bye. Thank, Bye. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, JP sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.